Hello, I'm Jane from Loopy's Place and I'm at home in my office at the moment. I'm yet another video prepared for you. This is from doing a faux cathedral window block. Now the um, inspiration for doing this is that I've been given a, a load of um, denim jeans um, to be recycled and I have loads of two and a half inch squares as well cut up in my scrap bags. So I thought I could combine the two. So what I've done is a little sample block and I've used this um, going to use it for yourselves and also in my classes with the community groups um, so that they can have a go as well. So I do hope you'll find it's useful. Um, don't forget if you've already tried this block um, please do share your um, projects in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. I've got some ideas of what I would like to do. So I'll leave you with the video now and I'll catch up with you soon. I've run through how to put the mock um, cathedral block together. Um, because I wanted to use my two and a half inch squares, I would use my um, circle that I drew on template plastic and drawn around the circle onto denim. Inside I've used the template of the two and a half inch squares that I'm going to use and I've drawn the square inside the circle. Now this is important for when we come to join it together. I've used um, permanent marker, it's dark, because that's going to go on the inside and it's also the line that we're cutting on so it's not going to cause any issues afterwards but it means that it's dark enough that I can actually see where the marks are. So first thing to do then is to cut my circle out probably easy if I went and got me because this is a bit there we go So you can vary like the colours of the denim that you use. Obviously, I'm just recycling the jeans that I have, um, and by using the inside or the outside of the fabric, you can change the tones as well. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can change up the feel of this. So I've drawn these lines on the outside. Um, I think the um, test one that I did, I may have done it on the inside, um, but I just wanted it to be so that you could, <laughs> that the lines actually showed up. There we go. So that's all my circles cut out. So this is where the um, lines come in. You may find it useful to use a pin because if I just slide a pin in there, it gives me a marker that I can see on the other side to match up with the square. Because this line that you've drawn is the line that you're going to be stitching down. So I'm just using the thread that I've got in my machine, it's a light one, so it will mean that you can see it. So we're going to be joining these into pairs. Now this is just a sample um, block to demonstrate, but if you were doing a throw, which is bigger, you would sew these in pairs, you sew your rows, and then you sew your rows together. So I've just got those lined up. And I'm going to sew that together. So that's together, and you can see you've got your pieces in the middle. These are what are going to fold over and form our. pieces that will curl over. Again, I'm just going to use my pin just to locate the line on both sides. There we 
we go. So this time, as you're going to go across, you are coming at the top of where it was joined underneath. pieces sewn together. So this is where the fun bit comes. Now some people will um, recommend that you use glue to keep these in place. Um, um, you can use fabric glue, temporary adhesive, some will use like um, glue sticks. So now I'm going to fold these edges over and I'm going to sew these down. So you can use a decorative stitch to do this or I'm just going to do a straight stitch the raw edge of the pico and I'm just following the curve round so if you're doing this you just want to make sure that you stay on the curve and before I get to the corner I'm just going to fold over the other side okay. and I'm going to sew into the corner needle up and I'm going to come round the other direction fold the edge over ready and fold the other one over separate it from either side Do remember to keep your needle down as you're rotating it. So this is the last one going folding over. my first window. You're going to complete do that in all your squares. And when you come to the end you get a nice effect here and I quite like the petal bit in the centre as well. So as I said this is just a sample. Um, you could do pieces like um, a cushion front so you have to do front of a cushion and have borders onto it and a back in or I'm going to use one and I'm going to make a throw um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. As I said I've just done straight stitch around here for raw edge applique. You could if you want to do like um, blanket stitch or um, any other decorative stitch just to um, hold that in place. So I hope you found that useful. If you've done projects using this um, block, um, do comment below. I'd love to know what things that you've made from them um, and what's your biggest tip for creating them. Do subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell below, make sure that you'll get notifications when new content is added. I look forward to speaking to you very soon. In the meantime, do take care.